I'm in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre at an amazing day. Um, it's Easter Sunday of the Catholic and Protestant. Jesus was risen. Uh, but it's like a week. Uh, the beginning of um, Pascha, Easter, of the Greek Orthodox, Armenian uh, Copts, then um, Karen, Stuart, you, you have a lot of videos, because I'm trying to prepare a video of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, but there's so many things to see here, so many uh, uh, processions. Then let's leave that place, because I know that you know, St. Helen is very important for you, that we are leaving the tomb of Jesus. I will bless your cross in the tomb uh, later that day, now it's closed, but certainly I cannot uh, I use my, um, um, my, my video. I'm not allowed to do that. On the way, I want you to see that there is kind of a wooden floor. And they are excavating beneath it now. The stones are there, the pavement, just like that. And they already discover an altar here. Uh, they published the idea they discover it, ancient one, but not more than that. Um, then there are so many things to come. Uh, it's so amazing week here. Then here it is, the prison of Jesus in front of you. Although, although it's a Greek Orthodox place, I, I believe that Jesus is one, it belongs to everyone. Then, according to them, he was set in prison before they crucified him right here. See the holes for the legs. But we're heading to St. Helen Chapel. And I really hope that I will be able to climb up to the Golgotha. You can see what is happening now, which is amazing. That's the floor that they will renovate or check what actually is beneath it. such an amazing thing. I don't know what to do. Should I go back? No, no. Karen, now it's you. Now let's continue down to the lowest place in the, in the church. And we are reaching St. Ellen Chapel. That is an Armenian chapel. But there's a chair here that now I won't be able to go into it, but I can be as close as I can. And according to here, that was St. Helen set when she came to here at 335 AD to open the gates of the church for their visitors, for the disciples for the first time. Let's continue down to the Catholic chapel. And that's where St. Helen found three crosses. Sorry about the uh, yeah. noise of the children. But you know, there are children and I'm happy that they are here. And in that case, here in that chapel, St. Helen, the mother of Constantine, and you can see Karen, you can see her right there. Here's St. Helen found three crosses. Right here.
and uh, she knew that one of them might be Jesus, true cross, but um, it was a question of who's going to be. Then she took a sick woman and one cross touch her body, nothing happened. The second cross touch her body, nothing happened. The third cross touch her body, and I think you know what's happened. We found the true cross of Jesus. A fresco from the 12th century of the crucifixion. Easter Sunday, he saw the tomb of Jesus, he's not there. For the Catholic and for the Protestant, he already risen. For uh, the Greek Orthodox, Armenian, Copts, Syrianic Church, Assyrian Church, this is Palm Sunday. Uh, uh, they're celebrating the same thing, but different calendar, than different, it's only a, um, a gap of a week. You can see a part of the Golgotha, the Golgotha Hill. The church wasn't built, uh, I mean the tomb wasn't built in the church. The church was built on top of it 300 years later. You can see the Golgotha, we're going to climb up soon. We saw already the tomb, but it used to be. Cave. It's been destroyed so many times, Karen. Someone asked me who is the one with the green. This is Nagriminos and Joseph of Ramitia and John, the disciple, the mother. And in between, they purified his body. And according to what we believe, that stone, the uniting stone, is the exact place. It will be difficult to reach it, but I will. And if you know to if you want to know how should you enjoy the cross, can be Greek Orthodox, Catholic, Jerusalem Cross, and others, go to uh, buy me a coffee link. There, you can support my channel if you want, and you can buy us of the cross. I will bless it anywhere in the old city of Jerusalem. I mean, choose a place. This is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And I will send it to you just like I'm sending it soon to Karen Stewart. Let's see if uh, we can climb up to the Golgotha. Looks like we will. The entrance is from the Catholic part. The exit is from the Greek Orthodox. Yes, their church belongs to everyone. And this is the beauty of the church. That's why there's different ceremonies. And I love it. The idea is that Jesus is one and people worship him in different ways. It's good. Um, I'm getting so many uh, 
messages uh, that uh, that one believe that this is way is the only way. I uh, I I don't know what to say about it. I believe that every one who believes in Jesus has got his own way, and this is the uniqueness of it. Look how many people there are here now. Then we enter to the Catholic chapel. That's where Jesus was nailed to the cross. That is a part of the Catholic chapel. Look at the face of the mother. And that is the chapel of the Pieta. Mary is holding the dead body of her son. You will see a spear in her heart. And the crucifixion won't be easy to reach it now, but I will explain you about it now and then when I will uh, go to um, Blessed Abbey Tomb which will be at night time it's going to be empty I will enter with uh, the cross and Blessed there too this is the crucifixion place to the right you can see John sorry to the left oops the mother Jesus is on the cross here. According to the uh, Greek Orthodox, Armenian, Copts, Ethiopians, he will be crucified this Friday. According to the Catholic, it was last Friday. And he is now risen. It's Sunday. We're going to live the amazing section of the Golgotha, the Calvary, back to the area of the tomb. I believe that it will be less crowded, but we won't be able to go into the tomb until uh, late evening. see the Armenians ending their ceremony of, um, of Palm Sunday. As I believe they might have their own procession soon. The procession looks like they leave the chapel soon, the Greek Orthodox. Let's wait for them. The Greek Orthodox are going out. I will wait for them at the entrance to the church.
the Armenian are getting ready. Wow, what a day! Alright, the Greek Orthodox are leaving the church and let me go backward and you will see it outside the church. The people that dress like um, Ottomans are a reminder of something that used to be in the Muslim time. Uh, it wasn't easy to be a Christian or Jew at that time. They had to pay a lot of money to stay alive or to uh, make their own procession. And they, until today, you can see them. But uh, today, it's not a Muslim. It's uh, not Muslim people. It's uh, Christians. Then here they are.
Thank you very much for listening to it. Please subscribe my channel. Yes, you can share it with everyone. Happy Easter, happy Holy Week to every one of you.